Hi guys, today I want to talk to you briefly about the controller as a syntax, a nice feature introduced in AngularJS 1.1.5. Uh, it's a very good way to structure your controllers and also solves a few problems that you might encounter when, when you have nested controllers and you want to reference property from the parents or the grandparents. And as well, when you have property with the same name in your scope into different controllers, it will help you in actually uh, simplify the way that you will access those properties in your uh, HTML template. So let's have a quick look. I have an application here, which has basically nothing other than a top bar. And as you can see, there be, there's basically nothing into that other than an empty page and this top bar, there, as I mentioned. We have only three files, an index.html, I've used the starter template to, to build that up. We have included our uh, app.js script, our controller.js, and of course all the Angular and Bootstrap libraries. My app.js is just an Angular module with the name demo app. And here in the index.html, as usual, I declare the ng app in the entire page. So now let's create a few controllers. What we want to show on this page is just a, a, a text string saying hello uh, and the name and the second one showing hello, another name, son of parent, which is the other name we'll show above. So let me just do it. So we'll create a controller for this module, angular.module. App dot controller. We call this controller parent. And in here, we'll declare a scope name. Scope name will be John. In the same way. We want to declare another controller, which we'll call son. And the son of John will be Sam. That's it. We can now go back to our uh, index.html and we'll quickly create two controller. I'll use Emmet that will simplify everything for me. And if you don't use this plugin, I really suggest you to do that because it will, you'll be able to write uh, HTML code and also CSS rules in no time. So like this, and then we'll create two of those. And here, parent controller, song controller. We actually want to take this one and nest it in our parent div like this. In the parent, we'll add a simple h1 that says hello name, which is the parent name, John. And in the child controller, we'll do a similar thing, but it will be something like hello name, in this case, Sam. And then we want to actually access a parent scope property. And to do so, we'll do dollar parent dot name. If I've done everything properly, if I refresh my page, I should now see hello John and hello and hello Sam, son of John. That's right. It works, but the problem is when you have 10, 12, 15 nested controllers and in order to access a simple property in the parent scope or in the grandparent scope you need to start writing something like dollar parent dollar parent and so on dot dollar parent blah 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 no? so this is one of the issues that uh, the controller as syntax will solve uh, also your code will much be much more readable and clean and and you solve as well a problem where uh, AngularJS2 will uh, get rid of the dollar scope property. So in that case, you really need to use the controller as syntax. So let's now refactor our code, uh, starting from the controller.js file. First of all, we want to get rid of the dollar scope here. We don't want to inject it anymore. We don't need this annotation. Yeah. 
we don't need it even here. This, we can get rid of that. Remove all the square brackets in here. Okay, so, and this scope here, and this comma that is really not needed. Okay, so we just have a function, an empty function. So what we can do here directly is actually change all the scope with these and these, like that. So these, as you might know, references the controller. What I do in general, just to make it more readable, I declare a variable like uh, PRT equals this. And in here, instead of writing these, I write PRT.name, same thing here, bar son equals this. And here, same thing, son, dot, son maybe not song, son.name. So this is all we need to do in our controller. So let's try to save because I want to show you something and refresh our page. As you can see, it doesn't work. It's completely broken because we need to go back to our uh, uh, index.html and use the controller as syntax. So here we need to do something as PRT and here has son. This is sufficient for our uh, controller declaration. So what, what the controller as syntax does is actually uh, it stores the controller instance in a scope property. That's what it does. In here we need now to put prt as a prefix. See, in here we do the same thing, son.name. And here instead of writing $parent.name, we can simply write ctrl, sorry, prt.name. So let's save it. And let's refresh our page. As you can see, it still works. It's much more readable. You no longer have the problem of writing all this uh, nasty dollar parent to dollar parent to dollar parent. If tomorrow you move to AngularJS, there is one less thing to be worried about because you got rid of the scope. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I really recommend you to start using controller as syntax.